Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today I'm going to show you a way how you guys can recover your lost or deleted data Alright, no matter what or where it is Alright, so no matter if it's in your hard disk or your solid state drive or is it in your USB drive, you know, external drive Alright, it can all be recovered Alright, and this is not just baseline recovery, just recovering from your, you know, your recycle bin Alright, this is recovering that from you know from data that is actually deleted all right so yeah it's 100 percent deleted there's no way of getting it back but today i am going to show you how you guys can do it all right with my um trustable software that i've been using for a long time which is this software right here right so this is the iboy soft free data recovery software all right for windows and i tell you this thing is a miracle and this thing is really really a lifesaver for me all right as you know I, i'm content creator so i did a lot of you know uh, records like hundreds and hours of footage and sometimes you know i may accidentally delete my files without me knowing because i need to clear some footage but you know in the end clearing out some of the um, new fuel footage and you know there's no way of recovering back all right but with this one i can actually recover back all right in fact like some very very old files and data as well so sometimes if you want to recover from an sd card your external usb drive all right this tool can also recover it for you as well so this is a really really incredible tool and i would like to share with you guys today all right so um yeah today we're gonna do a few demonstration and show you guys uh, what it can actually recover and what this software can actually do all right so yeah so without further ado, let me just go ahead and show you the software itself and let me show you how it can actually recover the files on my uh, SD card. Alright, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the software itself. Let's go. Alright, as you guys can see, this is the software itself right over here. Alright, they have um, all different kinds of things that you guys can recover. They have the traditional data recovery. I think this is most of you guys will have, prob um, you know, um, looking forward to. Alright, they also have partition recovery or right, something like if you have like certain partition and you actually deleted that all right this can also recover the partition and they also can recover bit locker data recovery all right so if you have you know um lost or corrupted or locked data all right or locked files we're using bit locker encryption this thing can you know uh, supply a password or a recovery key to recover that and to unlock all the files which is really really useful in case if you got hacked or you know you accidentally download some thing that lock state all right i have no idea what you do all right this thing can also do that but today our main focus is you know, on the data recovery i think this is what most of you as in fact you watching this right now are facing most likely that's why you're watching this video so um yeah data recovery all right so uh, i have my d drive over here which is my micro sd card all right, let me just show you guys. All right, so this this one is my USB drive. This is my micro SD card. All right, and as you guys can see, this thing is empty at all. So there is no files at all. But this card I've been used for quite some time. So there is a lot of deleted files. All right. So yeah, you can see right now, Windows cannot see any files over here. There's no way for you to you know, um, recover any of deleted files. So, well. That is where this software comes in. So this will help you recover all the deleted files. So right now you can see it is empty. But if I click on this, I click on next. All right, it is um you know, uh, collecting my volume. You can just you can see see how long it will take. All right, it's calculating. So you will just um let it you know load and search for the all the you know all the lost file, all the deleted files. All right. So for now I'm gonna just wait a while. All right, and um, yeah, I'll be back after this is done. Okay, so right now I'm just click on it. All right, um, you can enable or disable deep scan if you want to find more files that have been deleted, like probably many many years back. All right, the first few files that this this uh, SD card or any storage devices has been used. But um, if you want to recover recent one, I think you you don't have to do a really deep scan. So I'm gonna just remove the deep scan because this scan can take quite some time. All right, it can take up to an hour some time. All right. Um. So right now I'm gonna just remove that option and just click on this, and it is pretty fast. All right. So you don't have to do anything. All right. As you guys can see, it have found some of my deleted files. All right. And uh, as you guys can see, this is my individual assessment shooter report and you guys can see which when is the date we cut um you know created and as you guys can see these are the dates that um you know some of the files i still remember this video the other time i was filming in china or if you guys have watched the aspara video where i you know i think i posted in like 
October 2023, two years ago. All right, so yeah, this one is 2023, you can see. It's around that time, yeah. So it can be recovered as well, you can see. All right, they have the video as well. So yeah, you can see the dates created on, on this as well. You can see this is 2015. So it can recover files from as long as 2015. Even if, when I, if, probably if I start doing the deep scan, it can probably scan all the files probably like back when I'm using this back in like, <laughs> high school all right but yeah you guys can see it can recover all the files you guys have seen in the the actual one all right that is empty inside here but these are all the deleted files which is really really amazing all right so yeah you can choose like probably this um report that I deleted all right you can preview it or you can select recover so where do i want to recover do you can recover to wherever i'm just recovering to my desktop for is for easier demonstration all right, so it has been recovered as you guys can see it's over here so if i were to open up this microsoft word document all right um yeah it should open but um because my there's something wrong in my word document i will try to open it with okay something wrong with my word document it might take some time to um open up all right but we're gonna just leave it all right there is nothing wrong with the file at all right so it's gonna be recovered it's just my microsoft word is Taking some time, I have no idea why, but I probably have to reinstall the whole Microsoft Office on my PC. But yeah, it will take some time to open it. I have no idea why. All right, but uh, while it's opening, all right, let me just talk about other things as well. So as you can see, all right, you can select the files you want to recover. Just click on recover, and you'll recover it to, you know, to your desktop or wherever you want it to recover to. So it's really, really amazing. And if you like have a lot of files where you do a deep scan and you want to find a specific file and know the name, you can use the search function as well. All right, uh, probably the app Sarah. All right, and you can find the files you want. So this is also very, very um, useful, especially, you know, if you have tons of files and you need to scroll through all of them, you can just search it. It will be really, really easier, all right? And yeah, you guys can see, you can show only deleted file, existing file, there isn't any, uh, there isn't any existing file currently, but I don't know, somehow they got this file found in 2015. Uh, but yeah, it can preview in binary. <laughs> Right, but uh, I I don't think because it's a VFS file. I have no idea what extension is this. So it's not an image or something. But yeah, I don't even if I recall. It's a six hundred and four megabyte. I have no idea what I'm doing that time with this dot VFS thing. But uh, yeah, I don't think I can recover it. I mean, it's gonna take it's six hundred and four. I'm not gonna recover this. But you guys can see that you know it somehow has an existing file over here i probably like some sd card thing all right but yeah you can show all files you can see all the system file all right and uh, yeah and if you have like a, a lot of folders all right it will show more here but right now i'm just going to do like a basic scan so i'm not doing a deep scan so you guys can see and you know and this one is my whole c drive oh there we go all right it has been loaded up all right so yeah this is one of the things i did for my school assignment that time is a shooter game so i have to document it and yeah you guys can see it had been recovered from the sd card that i've deleted it all right so um let me just probably just do a live demo okay so probably if i were to go to like okay my my this since this this drive is still empty i'm gonna just create a file on it probably a text document on it okay and I'm gonna just write something in this, like, um, hello. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. All right, so, okay. So I'm uh, saving it into my D drive. Okay, so it's already saved. So if I were to open it up, you can see, hello world over here. Okay, so right now, all right, I'm gonna just delete this document away. So I'm gonna just delete it away. All right, and let me just show you my recycle bin. It's also empty, so it's not in my recycle bin. So it's been deleted. The newly created file, I've deleted it. So so if I were to go to see, there is no file at all. So there's no way of recovering it. Then you can use this. So if I go to my D drive, all right, um, you can select multiple one. My will go with this. I'm going to uh, uncheck the deep scan and let's see. There we go. All right, this is the text file that I've just created and just deleted. You can see the date and time is created. So if I will recover it back to desktop as well. Okay, and it should come out here. This is the file I just created. Let's open it up. And uh, 
Alright, and it shows Hello World. So yeah, it's the same one. So it's really, really awesome, right? So yeah, so whatever thing that you have deleted, it can be recovered. Right? I'm just delete them away because I have no use for them. But yeah, you guys, you guys can see that you know it can recover it very easily. Alright, you also can do partition recovery. Alright, um, but yeah, there's no partition on this. Alright, bit data, bit locker data recovery. Alright, but I don't have any recovery key right now to recover it. So yeah, you can do that as well. Alright, but you know, I think most of you guys will be doing as the data recovery. Yeah, so you guys can see this data recovery is really, really helpful and really, really use useful. Alright, and yeah, it's so easy to use. You just have to, you know, just click on that, choose a drive you want to restore and just let it, you know, scan through the drive. After that, you can select the, you know, the, the files that you want to recover. It is that easy, alright. So yeah, if you guys out there looking for a really safe and reliable or a data recovery tool, this is the one that I highly recommend you guys to use it. I've been using it for quite some time now. I have no issues with it at all. I have no, no issues with anything. All right, my data is still protected. All right, and yeah, it's super reliable. And um, I, I think I've restored like so many files and data all right and none of them have any issues with them at all so i'm really really happy so if you guys want to check out this um i buy uh i boy soft or data recovery you guys can check out the first link in the video description down below and go ahead and start recovering your files today all right so yes so once again if you guys find today's video really helpful and did help you recover all those important files or data that you have accidentally deleted on your hard drive ssd you know, anywhere internal external drive all right uh, do give it a thumbs up and you know they can comment down below as well and so once again you guys want to check out this software i will link them the first link in the video description down below for you guys to check it out so yes that's all for today guys and uh yeah and i shall see you guys in my next video peace out i don't want to cry